Okay. Hi, Jamie. I thought I'd give you a little walkthrough as to what I do every month uh, so you know and can do the same thing. So first of all, we go into the mikvah. Code is 127A. Okay, we're in the Kalen mikvah. I will give you a set of keys so you can access it yourself. If you forget, it's there your key. There is a key in here in the garbage area. Code is 1270. There's a key in there to let you get into the front door. So we'll go in. And we'll go to the laundry room. And what I usually do, as you can see right here, they have not switched the laundry, so I will switch the laundry. I'll take the wet clothes, put it in the dryer. If there's clothes in the dryer, which there is, I'll fold it up and put it away. Then, this is the beginning of the month, but let's say it's the end of the month. So, here is in this black folder, which comes from up there. Um, we have a record of all the logs. For every month um, for the mikvah. So here is June. So let's say June was hanging up on the on the clipboard here. I mean we have the rest of the year under here. So there's September and we have the rest of the year there. Um, so I fill, I replace the paper every every year. Um, so what you do is you look for these cleaning lines and for every hour Jorge gets $25. So he, I usually pay him twice a month, so I go in here and I uh, basically stamp that I paid him, and I pay him like $200 at a time, you know, so 8 times 25, $200. Um, so that's paying Jorge, I'll show you how to do that, you basically do that on Chase Quick Pay, you pay him twice a month, I, I mean, that's what I usually do, I haven't negotiated paying him once a month, so that's what I do. Anyway, uh, then I will take the sheet down. I will use this thing to put the holes in it, put it in the notebook, and then I will go to the maintenance room and turn the light on. On the wall here on the right is the electric meter. So you can see there it's at, you have to wait because it goes between load and the usage. So now you can see it's 40,955. So I would write that down over here on, actually, I would write it down on the next month, which is what I did over here. So I would write the meter now for July. Here I wrote it down as 4875, now it's 4955. And then I would take that number, subtract it from the previous month, which was. 39929 and I get the usage which is 946 and then I would do the same thing for the water. Water is on the back wall here behind the boiler and you can see there it is 61980 and then I would do the same thing write it down 61980 and subtract it from last month which is 6760 and then I get the usage. There is a Google spreadsheet, which I will send you, where we also keep track of this data. I like to keep it written down and, and, and digitized just for, you know, duplication's sake, just so that uh, there's two places where we can get the information. And it's also nice to be able to go through and see everything that happened in one spot with uh, who has done what over the course of the month. You'll also get metrics from Faith about how many people use the mikvah and how many maximum people came on a night. And so you write that down here. Uh, I actually have to fill this in because she gave it to me and I haven't put it down yet. So that is the first thing that you would do. That's the majority of what you would do. And then the one last thing that I like to do, actually two last things. Again, this is every month that I do this. It takes me about five minutes, longer than it takes for me to do the video. I come in here to the mikvah room. Turn the lights on. And under, in the pool, just make sure that, see there's that hole, that the water in the pool is over that hole that connects the um, main pool to the water, rainwater cisterns, which are right next door, the boros. If it is too low, if it's below the tube, if the water line is like inside the tube, 
but then you'll have to fill out the mikvah, and there's a separate video on how to do that. It gets worse in the summer because there's a lot of humidity. You can see the humidity now is 58%. In the winter, it doesn't, so that leads to more evaporation. In the winter, the humidity is less, and so you don't have to fill up the mikvah as much um, because the humidity is less. You can hear the humidifiers going actually right now. Sometimes what I like to do, if I hear the humidifier going and the, and the um, humidity is very high, I'll turn on the fans, which you can do like that. I need to do, there's one per room. You can also use smart things, which I will add you to, and you can do all that stuff remotely uh, in an app. Here's the other one. And then when you turn the fans on, you want to leave the doors open because it's designed for maximum airflow with the doors open. It's actually mechanically designed that way. So now we can shut the door, or we can close the lights here. One last thing I like to do is take the key from the maintenance room, check the money box. There is no money in here. If there is, take it with you, let it build up a little bit so you have a bunch of money to deposit, and I can give you a um, debit card and you drop it off at Chase every once in a while uh, if you want to do that as well. I've been doing it up until now. So again, all about what you want to do. So that is the gist of it. So let's see, six minutes. There you go. It takes me less when I do it without the video, obviously. And that is pretty much what I do every month uh, as like a check-in on the first of the month. It doesn't have to be the first of the month. It could be the second or third day of the month, just close to the beginning of the month. Um, to write down the utilities and make sure the mikvah is in good shape. All right, bye-bye.